Hey guys, it's Mary uh, Dade with Kingdom Blueprint. I'm here with my babies. One's asleep on my leg and one's asleep on my arm. So we're in the game room today um, doing this video. But the Lord put on my heart to share a word that the body of Christ is coming out of a Job season. And so be excited because as the body of Christ is coming out of a Job season, we have become very used to loss and um, having to work, having to strive, having to press, having to plow for things to happen. But things are going to start breaking through and things are going to start shifting and things are going to start aligning quicker than before. He is restoring marriages. He is restoring homes. He is restoring families. He is restoring finances. Um, the wealth transfer is taking place right now. He is giving authority back to his church. The body is becoming realigned. Um, people that are in power plays, right? People that are in high places, but that are operating under witchcraft and manipulation are being broken, are being severed right now. God is realigning everything in the body to work as a body, not to compete with each other. It's not competition. We should be cheering each other on. When my sister, when my brother in Christ is doing well in his life and he's expanding the kingdom for God's glory, we praise him for that, right? We praise God for that, but we congratulate them for that. You know, that's something that's big in our ministry. If God is calling somebody out of our ministry, we don't look at that like, oh, God wouldn't tell you that. That's not God, right? And God would never want you to do that. It's, oh, wow, okay, if God's calling you to do that, you know, we're going to pray you out. We're so thankful for everything that God's doing in your life, right? And so we keep that relationship connected because we're not, we're not being used by the enemy to create more church hurt, as the Lord just said, right? It's called church hurt. We don't do that. God doesn't want the body to do that. He wants us to be connected and unified, not divided. And so people that are in high places that have become idols and are people are idolizing them and not going to God instead, God is severing all of that. And so I'm excited for what's happening. But coming out of a Job season, the one thing he put on my heart to share with you guys today is believe it's done. Believe it worked. Believe they're home. Believe you're restored. Believe you have that new home. Believe you have that new house. Believe you have that new job. Believe it's done. Believe what he says he's been doing with you and in you has already happened. So we're starting to walk it out. Job season's over, right? So the the spiritual, the loss, the, the, the things that we've been losing, we're no longer losing things. We're going to be given back things. We're going to be gaining um, more grace, more favor, more blessing. The trials are going to be different. Things are going to be different than they've ever been before. When the body was in a Job season. The body of Christ was in a Job season. We were talking multiple seasons, years and years of suffering, years and years of loss, years and years of betrayal, years and years of all these things happening generationally. We are coming out of, who I feel that, we are coming out of a Job season as the body of Christ. So be excited, you guys. What God is doing, what God has for us is monumental, is huge. He has seen all the prayers. He has heard all the prayers and he has fulfilled the prayers. And so we need to start believing that we're going to see and we're going to start receiving what God said he's already done. Amen. So I'm excited for this, guys. If you're starting to waver a little bit with the doubt and the fear of loss is trying to stay with you, nope, I thank you, God, there is no loss. I thank you, God, that everything you said is happening. I thank you that you are a man of your word. I thank you that your ways are not my ways. I thank you that your plans are not my plans. And I'm so thankful, God, that your ways and your will for my life is so much better than I could imagine. Amen. I hope this encourages you guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.